This video is sponsored by Unstoppable Domains. Unstoppable Domains offers .crypto domains that you purchase once and own forever. Hey guys, my name is Christian Taylor. Welcome back to Crayler Made, and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the top encrypted email providers to evaluate which one might be right for you. If you're new to encrypted email, services like ProtonMail offer an alternative email solution with far better data privacy and security measures than you'd get from big tech corporations like Google or Microsoft. These email services offer several benefits. First, they are companies that take a privacy and security first approach to every aspect of email. They're all conducting business in privacy advantaged regions and avoiding jurisdictions like the US, UK, and Canada. They take encryption and data storage very seriously, and most of them offer some form of PGP implementation. If you don't know what PGP is, it's an encryption standard that's short for pretty good privacy. It's a method of encrypting email using a public and private key where the message is totally encrypted from sender to receiver. I'm not going to spend a lot of time explaining PGP, so I'll link to an explainer video you can watch if you want to know more. I will say this, in order for PGP to work, you have to send your email to another PGP compatible inbox. If you have friends who are also using PGP supported emails, you're good to go. But I thought I'd mention that PGP does not apply if you're emailing a Gmail address or something of that nature. Instead, you can choose to send an encrypted message that will point the Gmail user to a link where they can enter a password, view the secure message online, and reply through the website. So with that said, let's dig into the comparison. Today we'll be looking at ProtonMail, StartMail, and Tutanota. Starting off with ProtonMail, it's easily the most popular option of the bunch. They're based in Switzerland, made by the same company as ProtonVPN, and they have a strong reputation for taking data privacy seriously. ProtonMail is open source and is committed to being as transparent as possible with their code. ProtonMail offers a free account with 500 megabytes of storage and some feature limitations such as no support for custom domains. Paid plans start at $5 a month or $48 a year, and they're highly modular, allowing you to add storage, additional email accounts, and custom domains for a scaling fee. The sign-up process is super smooth. You aren't required to enter an email address to sign up, so you can remain completely anonymous. Everything about ProtonMail is well thought out. The online interface is a joy to use, and you can do everything you need to do in a mail client, like moving emails to folders, adding labels, searching, and sorting. The Compose screen gives you all the formatting options you'd need to write an email, and you can choose to sign emails for PGP or send encrypted messages to non-PGP emails. ProtonMail supports the open PGP standard, so you can send encrypted PGP messages to any address that also supports open PGP. I tried emailing back and forth between my ProtonMail and StartMail accounts as both support OpenPGP, and the experience was super smooth. Heading into the settings panel, it becomes clear just how much time ProtonMail has spent perfecting their product. Everything from the basics like account display names and signatures to advanced settings like autoresponders and custom CSS are available. Yeah, ProtonMail allows you to enter your own custom CSS to totally overhaul the look and feel of the online interface. That's impressive. I especially like ProtonMail's security panel, which shows you logs with timestamps of login activities, current sessions, and two-factor authentication settings. One security oversight that bothers me is the lack of native support for a physical security key like a YubiKey or Titan security key. Before you head to the comments, it is technically possible to use select YubiKey models with ProtonMail, but it's using a hybrid model of using the Yubico Authenticator app and configuring it to where you have to have your YubiKey plugged in to access two-factor codes on the Yubico Authenticator. IMAP and SMTP are supported using the ProtonMail bridge client, but I did not test ProtonMail with an email client. For mobile, I did try the free ProtonMail app, and I've got to say, it's a pretty smooth experience for my limited testing. And that's where I have to give a disclaimer for this video overall. 
Without using an email service as my primary email for several months, it's impossible to get a feel for long-term reliability, spam filter quality, and any quirks that may take full-time usage for a while to discover. My goal of this comparison is to share my objective experience comparing popular services against each other, but definitely understand that I haven't been able to test these services one by one as my primary email provider for months at a time. But to give a closing note on Proton, Mail, I think it's cool that they give you the option to add an email address and receive daily email notifications when you have new emails in ProtonMail. They understand that some users may want to ditch their Gmail account entirely, and other users may just want to keep a ProtonMail account open for sending occasional encrypted messages when necessary. I tend to fall into the second category, so I really appreciate this feature. It's optional, but definitely great for my use case. Overall, I'm a huge fan of ProtonMail, but let's take a look at some other options and see how they stack up. Next up is StartMail, and I gotta be honest, I expected to like StartMail the best going into it. The signup process was super easy, and you even get a seven day free trial. StartMail is based in the Netherlands and does not offer a free plan. Their paid plan is simple and straightforward. It's $60 a year for 10 gigabytes of email storage. The business plan appears to be the same price as the personal plan and adds support for custom domains. The StartMail web interface is visually super clean. It definitely gets the award for the most aesthetically pleasing UI in this comparison, offering an updated and modern experience you'll enjoy. StartMail is much more simplified compared to ProtonMail. It supports OpenPGP and encrypted messages with passwords for emails that are not OpenPGP enabled. The Compose screen is super clean, and the option to sign or encrypt emails are front and center. StartMail does support SMTP and IMAP connections without the need for a bridge client, and you can access encrypted mail using OpenPGP supported desktop clients like ClauseMail for Windows or AppleMail for Mac with the GPG Tools plugin. Again, I didn't test any of these services with desktop clients, I wanted to stick to the web experience and see what they offered. Unfortunately, StartMail does not offer a mobile app. Their online interface scales beautifully on mobile and is clearly optimized for on-the-go use, but it's a big bummer that I have no native app to easily launch and check my email. StartMail feels lacking in quite a few areas. There's no support for autoresponders, no recent email notifications, and no security logs like you'd see in ProtonMail. Additionally, I had a lot of trouble with the online interface freezing in Chrome. This could very well be an isolated issue relating to my browser and the plugins I used or cookies, and I never seemed to experience this issue on mobile, but I felt it was worth noting. Overall, I personally feel that StartMail has quite a few shortcomings to justify the $60 a year ask. I can appreciate the simple approach to the interface, and I'm always a fan of the less is more approach to UIs, but the lack of practical security features leaves me wanting more. I do think it's worth getting the seven day free trial if you're the type of person who is simply looking to leave Gmail, Yahoo, or Outlook, but you're not super geeky about security. If you simply want to kick the big tech corporations to the curb and store your email somewhere else, StartMail may be right for you. And to be clear, I'm not trying to suggest that StartMail is insecure in any way. I'm just saying it doesn't have as much options to configure and tweak in the realm of security like two-factor options or logs or advanced features that some security geeks might be interested in. Last up is Tutanota, and this is the most unique one of the bunch. And I don't just mean the name. Tutanota is an open source secure email platform based in Germany that does not use the PGP standard. Instead, Tutanota uses their own proprietary encryption method for sending emails between Tutanota users. For recipients that don't use Tutanota, you can send an encrypted message locked with a password just like you could with ProtonMail and StartMail. Tutanota offers a free plan for personal use only with paid plans starting at roughly $1.44 per month. 
Their pricing is in euros, so I converted to USD for the sake of continuity. Similar to ProtonMail, they offer modular upgrades with a la carte storage and alias add-ons. Tutanota offers business plans with additional features like inbox rules, email customer support, out-of-office notifications, and event invites. It's the only service of the three to support a calendar function, and it seems like the best option for businesses that want to use a secure email service for employees. I had some trouble with the Tutanota sign-up process. I could not seem to get past the analog clock captcha. I know, I know, it's kind of sad, but I'm horrible at reading analog clocks, and I failed just a couple times as I was trying to remember which hand is the hour's hand and which hand is the minute's hand, and that resulted in my IP address getting banned from Tutanota. I had to wait a whole day to register, and the next day when I could register, I was told I had to wait 48 hours to start sending and receiving emails for my account to be approved. Once you are able to log in, you're greeted by the simple online interface. It's even simpler than start mail, to the point that it's too simplistic. Little things like checkboxes to select multiple emails and the ability to send an email to a folder are missing. You can hold down control or command and click to select multiple emails, and you can click and drag any email to a folder, but I would prefer clickable buttons in the UI as well just to have options. You could accuse me of nitpicking here and say, who cares? You can just connect your email client of choice and move on with it. Well, with Tutanota, you can't. They don't support IMAP or SMTP, stating that their ultimate commitment to security means that they are closing the door to less secure protocols like IMAP and SMTP. Instead, you can use the web interface, the desktop apps for Mac, Windows, and Linux, or the mobile apps for iOS and Android. The Tutanota settings are more in line with what I like about ProtonMail. You can adjust the appearance, including activating dark mode. Advanced security logs are present, and Tutanota is the only option in this video that natively supports physical security keys for two-factor authentication. There are some powerful business targeted features too, such as an embeddable secure contact form for your website and a white label option to have your company's name and logo on the web interface. The calendar function with event invites is also appealing for businesses with employees. So in summary, I feel that ProtonMail is the best overall option for most users. It's my personal favorite, and I think it's best suited for privacy and security enthusiasts who want the ultimate flexibility for their private inbox. The free version is a compelling option for most users, and the paid version is a reasonable price for what you get. You can use the well thought out web interface and mobile app, or you can connect your own email client if you wish. If you aren't as interested in the intricate advanced security features, but you're just looking for a plain and simple secure email replacement to the big email providers, I'd recommend giving the trial of Startmail a shot. The online interface is super clean. It's honestly a joy to use, and Startmail connects with third-party email clients using IMAP and SMTP. And finally, if you want the ultimate locked down security solution with a physical security key, proprietary encryption protocol that claims to be more secure than PGP, and an open source code base that security experts can audit, definitely give Tutanota a shot. It's not for everyone, but thanks to the free personal plans and low pricing on the starter paid plans, it also makes for a great budget option if you need more storage than the free version of ProtonMail, but you don't wanna pay $5 a month for ProtonMail's paid plan. Tutanota is also optimized well for business use, making it the best Google Workspace alternative for corporations. The calendar, secure contact form, white label branding, and password protected messages for communicating sensitive info with clients are all attractive features for business. But no matter which email provider you select, your messages will stay secure thanks to the private encryption key that's held in your possession. Speaking of holding things in your possession, did you know it's possible to own a .crypto NFT domain and hold it in your crypto wallet? That's thanks to today's sponsor, Unstoppable Domains. Unstoppable Domains offers .crypto domains that you purchase once and own forever. It's stored in your crypto wallet of choice, and you never have to pay for hosting fees or management of your domain. .crypto domains are NFT domains, and they're part of the new Web3 system. Over 380 million users worldwide can already browse .crypto domains with Opera Browser. What can you do with your .crypto domain? 
put up a decentralized landing page or blog on IPFS, host an NFT art gallery, share your music, start a business, and more. The possibilities are endless. There's more to Dot Crypto too. Unstoppable Domains allows cryptocurrency wallet owners to use Dot Crypto Domains to send and receive cryptocurrency payments. Users no longer need to memorize long and error-prone alphanumeric addresses to send and receive payments. To receive a payment, someone simply needs to know your blockchain domain. Start taking your digital ownership back with a dot crypto domain from Unstoppable Domains. These domains are yours to keep forever, so there's no reason to wait. Go to unstoppabledomains.com to begin your Web3 journey. Thanks to Unstoppable Domains for sponsoring this video, and you can check out my decentralized website at crayler.crypto. So which secure email provider do you use? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you like this video, do be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss when I release new videos. Be sure to get your .crypto domain and own your identity on Web3 at the link in the description below. With that said, I'll catch you guys next time.